Hey friends, I'm going to paint an adorable cow today. I found this really fun photo on Paint My Photo. I'll link the website in this video's description. Look at this Jersey cow. And then in Photoshop, I hinted at some glasses on the nose. Isn't that cute? I love all the Black Eyed Susans. I'm going to paint it on a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas from Michaels. I already have the word love written on it in chalk pastel. I love these thick canvases because I tighten them up with water and a hair dryer and they don't um, lose their structure. If you have an inexpensive, cheap canvas and you try to tighten it up that way, sometimes it'll bow and bend in. Um, I was going to say let's get started, but actually first I'm going to try to just use black and white for my paints, raw sienna. Cad yellow medium hue and Prussian blue. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, just a couple of quick comments. I took my T-square and a charcoal pencil and just drew a line for a guide further down than I need this guy to go. And I like the chalk pastel and the charcoal pencil because it dissolves into the paint. I like that. Makes it easy. And I went down further because I'm going to use the photo as a traceable. And then I can just paint the cow over it and then there's some trees in the background that I can paint over it. So just to keep it simple, you could paint the whole thing blue if you wanted. I used the Prussian blue which I already mentioned uh, in the intro. Just a little bit of Prussian blue, a lot of titanium white. Here's the titanium white. And then a big two inch brush which made really quick work of my simple sweeping sky. I can, I have a video where I painted a sky uh, live, just very similar to this. I'll link that in this video's description, but that made really quick work. These are really inexpensive brushes and they really do a nice job. This is a two inch brush from Blick Art Materials. I dried it with a hair dryer. I'm going to go eat dinner and I don't think I'll get back to this until tomorrow, which is kind of nice because this it's winter time. It's dry in my studio. This will be good and dry. So when I scribble on the back of this with chalk pastel and then trace it onto my canvas, it won't get, like if I did it right now, I can feel it's kind of damp. It'll get stuck into the paint. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, just a couple comments. I have done this simple landscape in several cow videos. Um, I think it's in a rooster video where I added and ended up adding some daisies. It'll be very similar. Um, I call these Bob Ross trees. So I took a 03 8 inch craft brush from Michaels, number 10. It's a synthetic brush and just, you know, Kind of put in some shapes, put in some blobs for the tree line. And then I go from darker. You could go warmer too, but I just went from darker, gets a little warmer um, and lighter. Now it's lighter and cooler and it just kept, keeps getting cooler just to give you some sense of going back in space. The reference photo doesn't do that. And I put some sky holes in because I still have uh, blue on my palette. I'll talk about my palette here in a second. So there, so you can see a little closer. So yeah, those are just Bob Ross off in the distance trees. <laughs> I do paint onto the side because I like that. 
And then I, I had this a little warmer, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna put yellow flowers. So I cooled it down. I can always come back and warm it back up again. But I cooled it down because I'm gonna have quite, I think I'm gonna have quite a few of the uh, Black Eyed Susans over this area. And then I also went back over it just to fill it in. Because this is a pre-primed gessoed canvas, but that first coat sometimes just needs more paint. Um, you could, some people like to gesso and then sand or just gesso without the sanding. Um, that might help, but see for me, I don't mind it because I like to see if I can get depth of color. Of course it, it takes more paint. So I, I think just the whole point of that is up to you guys. Uh, my palette. So I did add Mars Black because I can get a, a nice coolish greenish brown with the Prussian blue and the raw sienna. But I like the raw sienna with a little bit of black to make kind of a burnt ember color. So this is Mars Black. What else? Oh, and I added Cad Yellow. I don't know if I added, talked about that since the last time I popped in. And it made some pretty greens. What's nice about the Prussian Blue, it's already muted. So it makes a nice pretty green. Add some blue and black to make a darker green. It's fun. What else? I think I'm gonna start with the eyes. They're really dark. Here, let's get my reference photo here. They are really dark. I might lighten them. Oh, come on, there we go. I might lighten them up a bit. Um, it'd be fun to put some, I just saw that. It'd be fun to, oh, sorry about the glare, put some purple in there, but I don't think I'm gonna add another color to my palette. That could be kind of fun. I think we'll put some blue in there, but I'm seeing purple in the eyes. That could, and actually I see some pink in some of the tops of the cone flowers, so that could be really fun, but I don't know. Right now I'm gonna keep my palette simple. I've done a blue raw sienna painting um, before. Was it hippie hair? I'll link it in this video's description. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start with the darks and work from there. Uh, what else? I can't think of anything else. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm gonna quit for today. I've been working on it for about two hours. So that's the trees, this background, and then putting, as I mentioned, more paint on so I get good coverage. Um, this, I'm going really slow. I was using a number one liner brush from Princeton and a little eighth inch flat brush from Michaels. It's a number four. It's their artist loft line to paint the eyes and I kind of started with brown and I just kind of sneak up and get darker and darker. Paint in some of the distinctive features. I mean, this shape is pretty good, but it needs like a highlight and stuff, but I'm just kind of painting shapes, finding the important, hopefully the important shapes. Like, I don't know, I've got, I'm zoomed in on my iPad, so I don't know. Actually, let's zoom out and see how I'm doing here. Well, that can maybe even be darker. You know, finding the mouth, or at least the darkest part of the mouth for now, that kind of stuff. Eventually, um, so this is like finding the edges on a puzzle. If you're putting a puzzle together, 
and I'll this eye is better shape than this eye but you know I think I'll put in some of the highlights and then see how I like it I realized I had drawn my eyeball out too far so I erased it and brought it back in here I don't know if I can I've got the camera like let's see how close is it it's closer it's well, it's not quite my hand width, so it's pretty close. Let's see here. I'll lean over and see see if I can see my phone. Hopefully that's focusing, I can't tell. So finding an important structure, um, thinking value, and also thinking like part of this nose is gonna be warmer, but this part's definitely like a cool black. I could even put some blue in there for fun. You know, rustier here, browner here, but not worrying about the if the color is exactly right because I'll just make adjustments so it all makes sense. You know, lighter the, light, the sun. Oh, we need to get our sun. Our sun is coming from over here. Okay, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, I thought I'd pop in with a couple comments. Um, I used this flat brush for the body. What is it? It's a three quarter inch, 19 millimeter from Royal and Lane Nickel. It's their Zen line. I'm bouncing be just between flat brushes. This one's a half inch. This one's, gosh, quarter three eighths. This one's an eighth. <laughs> and then I've got a liner brush. So just use whatever whatever you guys are comfortable with. I, I know you guys like to know the paints and the brushes, but I thought I'd pop in. I can actually see this in the photo. So I put a little green on the chin. I haven't finished painting the chin. I actually haven't finished painting anything except for maybe this background right here. And maybe over here, because I put quite a bit of paint on. But I wanted to show you, and I hope hopefully you can see it on video. Oops. So I like to paint thin to thicker. Um, kind of figure out the values, you know, do I need to go darker? Do I need to go lighter? I think I need to go darker here. And I think I'm going to go browner over here. But I don't know if you can see that this area is thinner. Hopefully you can. And it just needs more paint. And I think it looks better when you have layers of paint. This I, I painted um, with thicker paint. So it doesn't, I mean, you don't, you can do it this way and not do it this way. I'm just pointing out some of the things I do. I like to kind of sneak up on a painting and figure it out where it needs to be lighter and darker because I can maybe see, depending on the photo, I can see more value changes than I can paint. I can only go as white as my titanium white and as black as my Mars black. So that's one reason why I do that. So I just thought, I'd, hopefully you could see that. I can't tell when I look in my phone. And then the only other comment is when I got tired of working on detail. Oh, here, maybe we'll see the eye. 
I've kind of adjusted the eye a little bit since the last time I showed you. It's getting close to done. That eye might be done. I gotta get more painted around it. There's the nose. Um, when I get tired of detail, then I just go for something kind of fun and looser and paint the body. That's the only reason for the order. It's just, you know, sometimes you want a little break, so you change it up. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, let's stop a second since I've got paint everywhere and chat. Um, I took a photo because I'm sitting to the right over here and my camera's sort of in front and to the left and then my reference photo's over that way. And so I, it's really, I don't recommend doing that because the angle of this cow, especially with the way it's turned, I have to like step back, which I don't mind. And like, does that look right? And then square up my reference photo, square up my painting take a photo that kind of thing to see if things are okay because it's it, it's interesting to paint it at an angle but I enjoy I really enjoy the videos and hanging out with you guys um, things that I want to do I want to make this darker well actually I need more paint up here because when it dried let's see I gotta get my palette out of the way when it dried I don't know if you can see it but there's gonna be little specks where the blues coming through where the paint shrank so I want I don't know that you have to do that, but I like I like to have more paint over it. Um, an area that's got a lot of paint is here, but I think I want to soften this a little bit more, that this edge, lose it a little more. I want to put, I think I want to darken this side of the nose a little more. I put some blue in it, but I think I want to darken it just a little more. And then the other thought I'm having is, well, I like that I put some kind of yellow green in here. I can, here, let me see if, I think you can actually see it in the reference photo. Oh, sorry about the glare. It's like it's a little reflective light from all the black-eyed Susan flowers, which I love. And I love that there's a strong light. I took down my sun. Um, just to sidetrack a little bit, yeah, I need more work up here. I need to decide what I want to do there, or maybe just darken it here. My ears can be done. I kept them pretty simple. But what I was thinking is, do I want to... So I, I put some blue in to help tie in this guy. I've got a little yellow green. That's about the only place I can think to put it. Um, plus I don't want too much because I don't want to fight with the flowers. And I was wondering if maybe I want to put some raw sienna or some brown, just kind of maybe glaze. I glaze this a little darker. I think that needs to be darker. Um, this draws a ton of attention, but I still like to do that. And then maybe put a little brown in over here. Uh, maybe quite often I'll put a little of one of these colors in the sky. I kind of like the sky though. And then keep in mind that the video smooths everything out. Here, let's do a little little tour. Oh, and then I changed, I had this, I can't really see it in the reference photo. I had it darker here and then I came back and thought it looked kind of funny. So I lightened it up this way a little bit. And then I'm gonna cover it with some flowers that'll pull attention. But it's kind of like there might be a, I don't know if there'd be a shoulder there. I don't know. All right, so let's um. And then I'm gonna come close, see if you can see some of the texture. A pretty good paint coverage there. Oh, here are the grasses. 
they're very simple right now and it, it that is totally fine because we're gonna put flowers over it. but yeah I'm thinking I might want a little a little brown the body's pretty simple but then again I'm gonna put flowers over it here you probably want to see the nose and the face we'll see if my camera will focus it might not isn't that fun all the spots little lines the blue shadow is nice you could use gray but I like the blue I think the eyes are pretty much done I think I need a highlight in this eye though and I think I might need some more white up here oh and another thing I was thinking of doing is taking some yellow and glazing here else maybe we can do it right now so this is matte medium you could use water Oop. dirty brush or something was dirty hang on a second I'm gonna wipe that off so in this stage of the painting I kind of you know it'd be kind of nice to have maybe two palettes going a little more room to mix we're doing okay I like being able to show it on camera all right so let's grab some yellow oh I bet you there's brown in that matte medium down there and there is I'm not gonna worry about it maybe here this is what matte medium looks like oh and it likes to glue itself shut I'm gonna put some right there I kind of stir it but don't shake it you don't want the bubbles same with like glaze varnish so this will make it much more transparent without adding water which I like and I, you can use glass medium I just like um, like I like the matte medium because when I try to when I photograph it it doesn't have shiny spots I wonder if we kind of like that a little bit let's stop let's not put it everywhere and see I could even like glaze some yellow here even though I'm not done I might have to come back and redo this let's kind of warm it up a little bit I don't think I want to glaze yellow down here because I'm gonna have flowers and what's nice too is if your yellow like my yellow is already semi transparent there's a hair you might just to be able to do it you know thin it out with a little bit of water and then just do it I might be the matte medium might not be necessary at all just makes me feel safer less scared I'll have to step back and see if I like that I think I probably will so I'm just gonna gl I'm just kind of trying to push it into the canvas okay guys I'll be back in a bit but I think I don't know so just because I have the thought doesn't mean it needs it but I think I'm gonna try and put a little brown over here I really like my sky this was a happy streak accident but I really like that it's a very calm simple sky okay I'll be back in a bit pop in with a couple of comments so all of these black-eyed Susans I'm gonna see if I can slip my iPad between my phone <laughs> and my painting none of them are really in shadow um, the cows behind them what I'm kind of thinking and if I don't like it I can change it but I'm thinking maybe like this one will be in shadow 
That one will be in shadow. They also have cooler centers, more blue. Um, the, I don't know, you can barely tell probably. These are a little warmer. I'm just also changing the color a little bit. Um, I These are look, oh here, maybe. These actually look kind of pinkish. Isn't that pretty? But I didn't want to put another color out on my palette. I could. I just kind of like using smaller number of colors to help unify my painting. You totally could put out some magenta and like red up some of the cow too. That would be fun. Okay. And then the other thing I'm thinking, oh, sorry guys, my, um, I've got a Velcro crow thing on my microphone and it sticks to my sweater. Um, the other thing I'm thinking is, okay, this one is sort of a stop. You know, I tend to, when I do portraits like this, I, I tend to try to keep you moving like this or this, it doesn't matter which way. Um, so this is kind of a stop and same with this one, kind of leaning you into the painting. I'll, I'm going to put a lot more black eyed Susans. I think I just called them daisies in the painting, but these are sort of my, what I'm thinking as far as direction. This one looks towards the cow. This one looks towards the cow. This one doesn't. That's okay, we don't want, we could do them all looking sort of towards the cow, but I'm gonna throw some that don't. This one doesn't. So it's kind of just, these are my first few flowers to get a feel for direction. And I think it might be fun to put some ones with no petals, just the tops of them. Okay, I think that's about it. Oh, and I think for, to start out, what? I wonder if this brush is gonna be too big. I might try this 3 8 inch, inch brush and then I'm just going to use my sort of light this is a warmer brown that's almost a black brown I added some white to it and I'm going to just paint petals in just to get them in and then I can come back and cool them off with a little blue shadow or warm them up with some yellow but just to kind of get things going okay I hope those comments help I'll be back in a bit Hey friends, I think now, well, I just saw something I wanted to do. So I've been using this 3 8, three eight inch flat brush um, for the petals. Actually, I've been using this quarter inch flat brush for the centers. I think I'm just gonna do this. Put one more in, one more that doesn't have any petals. <laughs> So I've got one, two, three, one, two. So I have five. I mean, it's not, I've got enough flowers here that it's not that big a deal to keep it an odd number. All of a sudden I wanted to put one there. And I, th I don't know that I needed to do these sort of beigey uh, flower petals, but it just helps me sneak up on it. It helps me sort of work out the values. I think I like it. And then I keep adding some little grasses in. The reference photo is loaded with grasses and flowers. You can go that route. But I think what I'm gonna do next is make the flowers more yellow and see what I think before I go any further. Actually, I'm gonna have dinner and then I'll be back later and make those flowers yellow. What do you think? I think 
em Emily was over here when I was almost done with this and she's like, this is my new favorite cow painting. <laughs> Um, the black eyed Susans really make it. You could make them white, um, but it's just really fun. I like that there's a, like a little yellow reflective light from the flowers. What else? I like that I put yellow up here. Um, whoops, I just bumped my video arm. So it just reinforces that you, you do this. Of course the eyes um, always draw your attention right away. What else? I put more blues over here and I put in some leaves just to kind of fill in the, uh, fo the foliage and then like little highlights of sun catching things. That's fun. I put some like little blue highlights over there. So then the blue helps tie in with the sky. Kind of the same, you know, kind of the same thing. I love the blue shadow over here around this eye. A little bit of blue in the ears. It's just fun. I, I really wanted to add some quinacridone and it would kind of juice it up a little bit more, but I like this. I like, I also really like this. And how did I know I'm done? Um, I really wasn't making too many more changes. Oh, I did skinny up the nose. It looked a little funny to me. So I skinnied up the white of the nose. Um, oh, and I painted here. Can I turn it? I painted a little black eyed Susan on that side. And then I painted um, one without any petals on this side. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and I, I do paint the bottom. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can really show you. It's in shadow. It's not that detailed. What else, what else? Oh here, maybe you wanna see kind of up close. So I was going quite slow all day today. And I've worked on this off and on for five or six hours. But you know, kind of go slow, put, I, putting in the flowers. Uh, I stopped and just mentioned, you know, why I put in the first couple flowers and why they were there and the direction that they're facing, that kind of thing. But yeah, isn't that the little pop really fun? Plus it, it that calls your attention too. Cause I got a lot of dark right here. And then just kind of smearing some paint on and then maybe smearing a little lighter paint on. Just kind of go slow and play with it. Put a little darker paint on, a thin paint, just to kind of thicken up the foliage. So I've got my painting like four or five, maybe six inches from my phone. And I am not that much further away. <laughs> Such a cute cow. It's a Jersey cow. All right, let me know what you think. Let me know if some of the comments were helpful. I super appreciate um, your support. I love the comments. Uh, a lot of you have joined my Facebook friends group, Annie Tro Art Friends. It's just so fun to connect with you. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.